What's up, guys? It's cracking. See it here. Torian with Bumming on this training. We're starting a new podcast or a new vlog. A new opportunity to share wisdom and value. As a as a team. Yeah. One of my closest friends who's yeah. helped me a lot with life, uh, helped me a lot with perspective, insight, uh, to help us navigate the journey of life. Yeah, man, glad I can help. Yeah. yeah. So we, we figured we'd, you know, impart wisdom and take this new movement and really run with it because no doubtly in the world that we're living in right now, we all need a purpose or we need a presence and a direction that, you know, is fostered or I guess is, um, yeah, lots, is lots definitely of all about positivity and love and gratitude. So that's what's kind of pushed us in this direction or is our why or purpose to share with you guys. Um, we did have a topic in mind. Did you want to? Uh, we just wanted to be here and kind of say do kind of things that would make you uncomfortable that will help you grow. You know, you kind of you kind of know where you're going based on the habits that you you're already doing. So absolutely, if you can, um, you know, get into those, uh, get used to being uncomfortable and challenging yourself to kind of be better. Absolutely. And uh, what I've kind of started doing for myself is I've kind of tried to do one thing that made me uncomfortable that will help serve me in the future. And that is something like this being in front of a camera. It's, this is very hard for I mean, not, it's, it is hard yeah, for me. It's, something it's, new. It's, 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 it's uncomfortable for me. Oh. And uh, Torian here has been kind of doing it for some time now. So being in front of the camera, how about you share with me some of your experiences first starting out? Because Well, even to this day, I still get that moment where... Mm. You know, fear may kick in, insecurities may kick in, self-doubt may kick in. Um, but, you know, it's really cliche, but practice makes perfect. And you have to start somewhere. And like he said, you got to do something that makes you uncomfortable every single day uh, in order to get to a new transformation or move towards that said transformation. Um, we don't become clear with that unless we're really focused on our why or our purpose and our story. Um, that can turn into... Um, something where inputs around you or external forces navigate your next move. And then you never really come around to find what vibe or frequency or the why that you really want to run in or the movement that you want to follow or you want to live in. And your purpose-driven life can be lost along that path. So um, that's, again, why we're, we're sharing here. Uh, one of the topics we really wanted to cover was uh, when we first started was the self-awareness concept or the uh, ability to become more self-aware, more, you know, appear more in our space or in our energy that's our truest self. It starts from self-awareness. Yeah. It has to start there. Um, if you're wanting to know where to start, you got to start with you. Why do you want the what you want? Um, do you want to be better? Do you want more? Are you okay with what you have now? You know, you should be, you know, gratitude is a very important thing about being grateful about what you already have in your life, you know, a roof yeah. over your head, some food on the table, you know, loving family, friends, you know, and that's just you getting to know what it is that's good in your life. And it starts with just knowing exactly what you want to be better in, you know, we're not perfect. Absolutely. Right? You know? I mean, if we're talking about, you know, the state of affairs right now, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of fear, a lot of insecurity being bred with the events that are shaping before us. So I don't think there's really been another time in history where the value needs to be bestowed upon people or we're, we're championing each other's presence, we're championing each other's uh, movements. We really appreciate and have gratitude towards somebody's why or story. And if we're not even in touch with that, we're going to keep just running around this cycle and this construct of not knowing anything. And yeah, not, 2020, we don't yeah, know anything. Yeah. 2020 has been, a lot's going on, right? Or right. not much has been going on. People are at home, doing yeah. nothing. I mean, yeah, hard. right. And that, then that takes you away or it can distract you from your self-awareness. You move into survival mode. Survival mode. And that can turn into impulsive components. And again, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for something. Right? Or if fall you for anything. fall for anything, yeah. So um, self-awareness comes around the bend. Uh, when we least expect it or when we, we need it the most. And if we're not paying attention to the signs or paying attention to our triggers or um, some of the events that happen around us, 
we lose the sight of that said self-awareness and the journey that it should be, you know, pushing us or persevering us toward. Self, um, self-awareness is key into kind of uh, getting to a place where you're um, in a state of gratitude. Um, I think that should be the goal is to kind of know yourself well enough to understand that you have everything you know there's not there's not really if you want to chase the money the wealth the the success that could be anything you know money Mm -hmm. has a number and it can go on forever success Mm -hmm. can be defined by each individual whatever that may be success could be having a healthy loving family Success could be just doing what you love every day and making fifty, sixty thousand a year just to live. You know, being making an income off of doing what you love, and I don't think many people can say that these days. So, self awareness comes down to just knowing what it is that you want, and you gotta and knowing who you are and who you need to become to get there to get what you want. So, maybe we can highlight some of the stuff that we can dig into. I think the biggest uh thing is to really get clear and concrete of the examples of maybe why i'm not following in that self-awareness game and what it's doing to inflict damage on my personal beliefs um my personal story or how i'm living and showing up for people and how my relationships may look in that construct um the self-awareness game comes from taking yourself out of the habits that have served you so far and giving you feedback and results and analyzing those things and when you have these questions these burning desires and you lash out or you're, you're unhappy uh, that's the moment or those are those triggers and signs that allows us to say well this is where we're starting from this is where the self-awareness game may need to change and in turn uh, we need to start finding more examples or different input that can push us in the direction where we need to grow and we don't have to have all the answers um, like if I could be as transparent with you guys as possible today uh, I had some downtime and I literally took courses on the manifestation, you know, components or speaking your truth and speaking your story. And a lot of what I needed to establish again was the why, the story that I really wanted, my purpose in life and where I was moving in that direction and not paying attention so much to the events that were happening around me and getting into a position of it's happening against me, it's happening for me. If I'm really established or I'm really working towards the input that I don't actually know right now. But that's being aware of it all. Yeah. Right? That's just being aware about those thoughts, about what you're thinking, about how you're feeling. You know, right. Just... And I mean, things are going to happen to challenge your construct or challenge your current state of being. And that involves relationships. That involves, you know, projects you work on. That involves work tasks. That involves you know, challenges that you bring into your life in the form of maybe physical activity. Um, Some of the literature you are reading or aren't reading, like all those layers really build a reality or build a lens for you. Um, And if you don't feel happy in that particular context, something needs to change. You need to move in a direction that allows you to um, travel towards the unknown. And that input really makes you more aware of all these things that are bugging you and you can start moving them away to uh you know allow in a space of gratitude or allow in a space of uh, love and acceptance uh, yeah i'll give you an example of, for me too self-awareness is anything that i share anything personal i feel very vulnerable doesn't matter what it is it's just you're kind of sharing a piece of yourself and that puts you in a very vulnerable state. And what I have to overcome with that is, is it's just a moment. Vulnerability, it's just a moment. And it doesn't stay very long. No. So um, that's something that I work with, you know, that I am aware of, that that's who I would, like, I'm, not, I'm doing something about it as, in regards to, doing the uncomfortable things but I don't think that will ever go away the vulnerability feeling of anytime you share something right right? because it comes when in a new relationship when you're sharing something 
let's say you had many relationships, but you have, you're almost learning to get to know somebody new and then you're going to have to share yourself again and open yourself up to that vulnerability once again. You're taking a risk. Right. So yeah. it's always going to be there no matter what you do. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's something that I deal with and I'm sure many of you can relate. So. Right. And that's part of the self-awareness journey yeah. that you have to embrace all the layers of it, uh, be happy and again, understand that these events are happening for you, not against you. Um, when you're not comfortable or you're not happy with the set results, the input must change or you might want to look into the unknown and do something uncomfortable like my friend has mentioned. Um, and you're not supposed to have all the answers. The self-awareness game happens from you know, the day we're born to the day we, we leave this vessel or we leave this, this body. And that's part of the fun, I guess, or part of the gratitude and the love that comes through the self-awareness game. Um, so, you know, to wrap up or to, you know, summarize that, uh, love yourself. Love every part of the journey. Um, be honest and uh, move in integrity when you have these pressing moments or these burning desires and questions. Follow your dreams and your passions. Uh, you don't have to have all the answers, but you can get those set answers by changing your habits and your inputs mm-hmm. from that new space or that unknown, um, you know, position and that journey that you're going on. Uh, you will see the the transformation happen, and you'll attract the right things. But you have to really truly want it, and you have to almost let go and be vulnerable to that yeah. said, you know, manifestation or that said um, self awareness game that doesn't have all the answers all the time yeah and it's just getting to know yourself like that vulnerability is you know me getting to know myself that I I, I I can be there and it's okay you know you can you can feel you can feel a lot of things emotionally and just being aware of those emotions and knowing that it's okay you know we're not always we're not we're not made of steel you know we go do things and you know we get into situations that can make us feel certain ways absolutely and uh, that's that's part of that journey of self-awareness as well it's kind of knowing why you you react to certain things and but never letting your emotions dictate your reactions or your response to certain circumstances and that's right. another key another example of some self-awareness that you can right take into consideration right as well practicing the pause being in control of your impulses or your emotions is key to understanding the layers that go behind self-awareness and being in more in control because like i said with everything going on in the world right now that self-control mandate has been definitely lost um the direction is more towards fear and instant gratification that's what we're always seeing its results it's Mm -hmm. never based Mm -hmm. upon the work that's gone behind the scenes Um, that has to be part of your construct or part of the journey that you must, you know, at some point, not what must, but embrace and have a willingness to, to accept. So now that you guys know some of the, some of the things that we're kind of going through a little bit, leave some comments and, you know, give us some feedback on maybe what we should talk about next. You got some questions or maybe something you see that we could do better. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. We're always open to that. That's, that's a growing. All right. Yeah. We're all about getting better. Yeah. Right? So, hey, leave a comment, like, see that here, or yeah. Peace.